Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jack video. Hope you're doing really, really well. So, I haven't actually filmed a video in quite a while. Um, I've been ill for the past, like, week. So, um, just with a cold. But, um, so if you notice that my voice has gone a bit slower today, it's because I'm not filmed in a little while, so I might be a bit done scratch, and you might hear a bit of nasal in my voice. But anyway, without further ado, we'll get on with it. So today we're flying from Zurich in Switzerland, and we're going to head up to the brand new RD preset scenery um, Bergen, which is in Norway. Um, very Christmassy flight this, very uh, wintry. Uh, it's actually snowy on the ground in Switzerland, and I assume it will probably be snowy on the ground in Bergen. Um, one thing I do have to mention is that my Wi-Fi is being so slow today, so Vatsim connection is just not really working. Um, it's quite laggy. So I won't fly on Vatsim for the first part, but um, if it gets better in the next hour or so, we can connect up for the landing. Anyway, we'll click fly now. Um, we'll connect to MSFS. And if we go to RFP, we're cruising flight level 380 today. So if we go to Windy, hello. Uh, we'll go flight level 39. So we're here. Um, and then we need to we're going to be flying up here up to Bergen. So we're going to have a headwind on the way up to Bergen today. Um, and then, as you can see, also a nice crosswind. <laughs> nice crosswind on um, departure with a tailwind, actually, because of variable winds. Um, so yeah, that's all we've got to really look at. We'll look at the meta. Uh, so winds are variable at two knots, few 1,200, broken 1,600, overcast 2,000. It's minus four degrees, QNH 1011, and no significant changes. Um, on arrival, the meta is 11 degrees at six, 11 degrees, sorry. Winds 110 at six knots. Cloud invisibility is okay. It's minus two degrees, QNH 1013, no significant changes expected. So a uh, bit more clearer up in Bergen today. We are flying Eldevis um, today, Phoenix A320, as you can see here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get straight into flight deck and get this flight and loaded. Here we are, everybody. So welcome to Zurich Airport. Um, as you can see, it's very snowy on the ground here. Um, GSX and the jetways aren't working for me for whatever reason, so that would be a fix I will have to go and sort out eventually. I'm not sure how. But yeah, here's a Phoenix AP20, Ildevis, um, Edelvis, um, Airbus AP20. Um, head into the flight deck, we'll get things loaded. So overhead panel, battery 1, battery 2, external power on, system 1, nav 1. Get crew supply on there. Nav 2. Nav 3. Um, nav and logo lights on, no smoking sign on. Seabot signs on as well. Uh, if you want to say off for the time being, these bits and bobs will come up. Come down here. Um, that'll be fine. It'll be on auto when we need it. Uh, we'll put Unicom in anyway, just because you never know when we're going to connect up. Just do my Wi Fi sorts itself out. Atsu page, FMGC page, over here. There we go. We'll get our flight plan loaded. So if we go to uh, tap to import from Simbrief, uh, I don't really mind, that's okay. We'll just depart as it is. If we go to mass and balance, we'll load the aircraft instantly, like so. And then what we'll do is we will request boarding. Boarding requested. So GSX will do the passengers. It's just so it doesn't link, you know, like get all messed up with each other. Um, so we'll deal with that. Next up, we'll go to AOC menu down here. Flight in it. In it data request, which means in it page on the left hand side here. Wait for it all to come through. There we go. VOR, VOR, QNH 1011. We'll just set things up here. Uh, 380, we know that we're cruising at. Ooh. Oh, look, I love that. Love that little thing. It's cool. Um, so, cost index today, according to our flight plan, is 6. So we'll pop 6 in there. Cruising altitude 380. Flight number is ED something. Um, EDW92 Lima, so EDW92 Lima. Now put in our weights over here. So if we go to mass and balance, uh, 
54.7 and 30.6. 54.7 slash 30.6. And our block fuel is 7.8. So flight plan, departure today, um, departing runway is two seconds. Um, runway 28, so we'll set that in. Runway 28, and the SID we're on is the DG1 X-ray, so top one up here, like so, insert that, cool, um, everything is good there then, so next is the perf page, we can do that now, so if we go to departure perf, what's happening with Baldin? Do you hear anything? I don't think the bags are here yet. Um, runway 28, it is wet. Two packs on departure. Calculate. 118, 140, 140. 118, 140, 140. Perfect. And then it is flat 1 up 0.0. .0. And the flex temp today is 66. And engine out 2420. 2420. Perfecto. Okay, cool. So everything here is now good. We are all good to basically just wait for boarding to complete. If we head into the passenger cabin, you can see here, have a little elder wise cabin going on here. Ignore the little Phoenix bits. But um, yeah, everything looks good so far. We'll wait for boarding to complete. I think these are probably the bags coming over here in the snow. Um, in terms of the passengers though, I can't see anyone. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so wait for boarding to complete and then I shall see you all for pushback and departure. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So we're just um, requesting pushback and start now. Boarding's completed. So um, I'm not gonna de-ice and trimming just because it takes too long and doesn't really impact the aircraft um, at the moment in the sim. So um, we'll just get going straight away. So we go to Phoenix Ground Services and then get rid of that. Shut them. Chops. Oh, we're not actually. I need the APU to start. Uh, get all the fuel pumps on. check completed, I have been inserted. Cool. Switch TA on as well. We want, oh I hate when it does that. I don't know why they change it. What are we facing now? We're facing west, so we'll face the east. I've actually made this the wrong way. I will dismiss the GPU once the APU started. There we go, APU available, APU bleed on, external power off, so GPU. Looking here. Start an engine one. Oh. oh, you see, guys, this is how long it's been for me. That I literally just start the engines without, um, without the air, without GSX even pushing back. <laughs> it's fine. Shame about the wing in the jetway, isn't it? <laughs> Due to icing
Okay, start an engine two. Oh no, I was right. Good. This is the way we want. I'm going to see the taxi lights here, they're barely visible. Be <laughs> interesting. Set parking brakes. Parking brakes now set. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Engine 2 is available. We'll confirm good engine Passage start. Brown. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Arm spoilers. Ape, you can come off. And now we just wait for GSX to finish their bits and bobs. Actually, we'll do a fire control check. So, full left. Check. Full right. Check. Then we'll look down here for this bit. Full up. Full down. Full rudder left, full rudder right. Cool. Yep, so just wait for GSX to um, clear off and then we'll get taxi into 2 wait. Okay, so GSX persons is uh, walking off so we can get going. Set a bit of thrust. Bit of a slow taxi to begin with. Oh, do take off config test. Normal. We're going to taxi right out of here onto um, Juliet. Then we'll take a left onto Bravo at the end. Taxi all the way to the end here. Okay, everyone, so nearly at the runway, so we'll do our uh, takeoff checks now. So, landing lights on, strobe lights on, takeoff lights on, and we will go um, TARA, weather radar 1, and predicted wind shear. There we go. We enter the runway 28. So, 50%. Start the clock. Stable and man flex SRS runway. Want to thrust blue. I'm trying to figure out where the sensor light is. Not checked. V1. Rotate. Positive climb rate, gear up.
turbulence. See you later, Zurich. Okay, lower the nose a bit now. And we'll go climb thrust. And we'll take autopilot one. is we'll go direct so if I'm doing all this long thing here uh, we will go is that going to be good enough? nope uh, that's better there we go I think it's my first ever snow departure in MSFS, can't lie. We've disarmed the ground spoilers. And then we'll go flaps up. Notice that we can't really gain speed. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it's the icing conditions, possibly. Like it's taking us, uh, we're taking quite a lot of time to actually pick up speed. Gear is up, flaps are up, but maybe I should put a flap out just to. So we're near that red zone. Or well, what I could do actually uh, is just lay off the climb for a second. Just see if that helps the speed any by any by anything. It's not really increasing at all, is it? Even when descending, it's not increasing. Okay. Well, if it's not going to change anything, we might as well just keep it, but... I can't see why it's doing that. Lovely views, though. <laughs> just not increasing at all. Wait, where is... That is our speed there, the yellow indicator. Oh wait, no, it is increasing. We are increasing our speed, look. It's just not moving on here. Is that a new bug? Because the speed was very, very much increasing there. I think our PFD might be broken, to be honest with you. Um, let me try. I think that's broken because we were our speed is increasing. Um, what I can do... Let's 
give them a quick reset. No? That didn't do anything, did it? And now we're descending again. <laughs> this is really, really interesting. Yeah, it's just broken. Okay, so passing 10,000 feet, landing lights off, horizontal flights and taxi lights off, uh, see what signs, okay, one for a little bit longer. Um, I'll see you all close to the top of the descent. Leave this with me, I will try and fix it. I don't, I've got this max speed to um, keep an eye on instead. But um, yeah, I'll see you all shortly. Bye bye. Welcome back to the flight deck. So we're going to start planning for the arrival now into Bergen. Uh, the aircraft looks like very strange there. Anyway, yeah, let's get a good position. <laughs> anyway, into Bergen. So we're going to go down to the FMC. We're going to go to Bergen arrival. Um, the current active runway at Bergen. Let me just quickly double check. Um, so the meta, the winds are 11 at 6. So 1106, which means we should be landing on runway 17. So ILS 17 and the star that we are on is the Badab 2 November. Insert that. Go to the perfect page, we fill in some details here. Q and H, and if we head over here to the arrival meta, it's really turbulent as you can see. Not great weather. Uh, oh, this coming up is a variable, okay. So we we'll do zero 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 slash zero one. Q and H is one zero one three. Temperature minus three. Uh, so minus three. There we go. Um, one three one is our approach speed there. Um, and I believe I'm missing something. I'm not, am I? I'm not missing anything. Right, um, medium water break for arrival because it's going to be snowy probably. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you all closer to your top of descent. Uh, we can just reduce that a bit so we're ready. And um, yeah, see you shortly. Bye bye.
and welcome back to the flight deck. So we're just passing 10,000 feet as you can see. It's going to pop on them landing lights and the takeoff lights and runway turn off as well. But automatic medium for arrival as you know. Uh, we're going to switch on the LS uh, now. Not approach just yet but all that can come on. Uh, we're currently, it looks like about 11 miles out. That will increase though because we're flying away from the airport. Um, we're going to do about 200 knots. We'll set flaps 1 since the aircraft wants us to slow down that much. Um, I'm also going to pop on the anti-ice now as... It is a minus something, uh, minus 17 at the moment. So it's going to be quite a cold arrival here, obviously. But it is the first arrival into RD presets at Bergen Airport for me. So we get to show off the scenery, especially in all the snow as well, which would be nice. Let's see what the what little load sheet there. Accept that. Beautiful arrival. Look at the sun in the background as well. It's lovely. MSFS is not disappointed when it comes to graphics, does it? It's very, very good at that. Quite stable, they've got a headwind of 5 knots. Cool, so we just put out some speed brake to help us. Uh, we're in flaps 2 now, according to our aircraft, it's bringing us right down. Uh, we're also arm approach now, so that's ready for us. Bring in the speed brakes. I'm not sure I want to descend that quick just yet. Uh, I'll just put out there, we'll go about 160. So we're turning into final now. We are a tad high, so let's do that ourselves. Runway is in sight, here it is, just there. We need to get on path with the glide so the aircraft will actually capture it. Uh, this waypoint we're meant to be at 2400 so just a tad too thingy. It's coming in now. There we go, it's captured it. Um, we can go the speed brakes. Yes. Bit turbulent, isn't it? Right, spoilers in. Arm spoilers. Flaps three gear down. Oh, it's all over the place, look at it. Follow that in speed. Go 
of flux full. Got a 15 knot crosswind. Right, spoiler's armed, flaps full, medium auto brake, uh, disconnect autopilot. I have control. Or oh, manual. Oh, wait, someone told me it's manual. Manual flight, something like that. Manual flight, I think. That wind is constantly changing. Having to keep correcting. Five hundred. Changing again. Flight slow. Ready? 40, 30, 20. Retard. 5. Oh, bit of a bounce. Touchdown. Reverse is green. Decel. 60 knots manual brake in reverse is stowed. Welcome everybody to Bergen. RD presets Bergen. Okay, right. Slow down a bit more. Pop on the master switch. Right, we'll stop here just for a second. Not stop, just slowly taxi. Um, oh, we did stop, okay. Just want to get a gate up. Uh. Okay, no, I think I have to choose our own. So we'll just go to a number 27 here. I don't think GSX is working for me. Uh, revoke. Park services. Look how nice the scenery looks. Little bit, little bit of snow on the ground. Not too much. Okay, so into two seven. We'll just taxi as normal. I think. Oh, that's too early, isn't it? Hang on. That was way too early. Okay, parking brakes. 
set, engine 1, engine 2 cut off, AP bleed on, uh, beacon light off, and we can now get the boarding going. Request the boarding, there we go. Uh, we'll take Norwegian. Lovely stuff. And then if we come down here, we'll press the D-ball as well. And all of the things will line up. See what signs off. Perfect, everyone. Absolutely perfect. Public signal power on AV off because the aircraft was not flying back today. I don't have enough time, unfortunately. So I will do it uh, the next day. But uh, there we have it, everyone. Welcome to Bergen Airport here. Um, oh here in Norway. Um, I hope you all enjoy this video and um, this RD presets um, Bergen. So if you want to pick it up you can do on loads of different websites um, but links will be in the description below where you can look at it on their website. But yeah, um, thank you all for watching. I appreciate everyone. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.